So recently I moved into a new apartment and I stumbled upon a little problem with some storage space. At first I was like, that's a lot of storage space right there. I mean, come on, there's space for the clothes, a little bit of storage unit for some things. And behind the next door, there will be a lot of space for a lot. Wait a minute. Uh, okay, uh, but I'm sure behind the next door, there must be a ton, a lot of storage space, right? So, as you can see, I don't really have much storage space to do with, but um, I'm sure I can make it work. Recently, I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube about some product from IKEA called a peck board, where you basically have a plate with a lot of holes where you can hang up a lot of different things. And on top of that, I purchased some of IKEA's own products that fits in the board, as you can see. As you can probably tell by the video name, the main problem I had was to make some storage space for the Dyson vacuum cleaner head that was coming along, the vacuum cleaner that I purchased, I think it's the V8 model I have. But yeah, here comes the boring part where I put up one of the boards. So the next step from here was to design the mounts that had to be put on the IKEA pegboard so that I could click the Dyson vacuum cleaner heads up into. And for that, I needed a really good idea. Luckily for me, I'm not that bad at designing things in 3D because at my everyday work, I am a technical designer, so I know a little bit about drawing in CAD programs. So I made a design where you can put some M4 nuts into the side of the print and then from the back side you can put your bolt in and attach it. This mount I had a lot of ideas but I decided to come up with something that was stuck onto the board that you cannot take on and off because of the motion that you have to do when you click it up it will simply just fall out I believe. I actually ended up printing three different versions before I had the final one. As you can see there is kind of a weird hole and I realized that some of the vacuum cleaner heads have an electric uh, connection that, that requires a lot of space. And the number two version was simply too tight so I had to make a few adjustments and make it a little bit stronger. Here you can see how I attach both the mounts and the charger on the board. The charger is attached from the front and the mounts are attached from the back. So here guys is the final result. Let me know what you think about it. If you like it, please like and subscribe if you're interested in what I do. If you're interested in downloading the CAD file, I have a link in the description where you can find it. And guys, if you actually decided to use my design, Please take a picture or a video and link in your comments so I can see it. Thank you, bye bye. Oh, and uh, one last thing, listen to this satisfying click.